guys, it's Matt with another Minecraft video. So I'm here on M&B Skyblock, and I've gotten all these questions about AFK fishing. Some people don't think you can still AFK fish on version 1.10 of Minecraft. Um, other people are saying that they don't know exactly how to make it work. Other people are saying that it's not working for them. So I decided to put together a video kind of clearing all that up and uh, showing the results of this. So first off, this is my AFK fishing machine that I'm using here. This is a uh, what I would call a, a fairly standard design. I'll put a link to a tutorial in uh, the description of this video. I'm not going to actually uh, do a tutorial myself because I'm pretty sure they already exist out here. But the, the long and short of it is this is kind of a cool machine. You basically stand here and you can AFK fish. I'm actually going to show you how to use the machine because it is a little bit tricky um, because uh, some changes in uh, the recent version of Minecraft. But I do want to show you what this can do. So I AFK fish overnight and this server has MCMMO. And these are all the chests underneath my fishing uh, system. So if I go down here and I, I open up this bottom most, most chest, this is the kind of stuff that I'm fishing up. So I want to point out, uh, obviously, diamonds, diamond gear, um, name tags, blaze rods, all sorts of fish, of course, puffer fish, other types, gas tiers, uh, you name it. So just going through here, I'm just going to cruise through these chests. It's going to find some Nemos right here. And it uh, looks like a, a fully... Uh, durable golden helmet. That'll be because uh, I've got my my salvage is so high. That's going to be worth five gold ingots to me. Ah, ender pearls. I'd forgotten about those. And um, so I can typically get quite a bit out of uh, salvaging, repairing, and salvaging this stuff. And in fact, I've got one of the higher repair and salvages on the server right now. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Check this out: diamond leggings, protection three, fire protection three, projectile protection three. All of my gear that I have on right now. I have fished out and then repaired up. And the reason is because, just like you saw with that uh, uh, pair of leggings, you can get better enchantments on uh, these this gear than you can actually make yourself. So again, this is all from one night of AFK fishing, probably, I don't know, seven hours, something like that. And uh, I'm just gonna keep going up here and you can see that here's a Silk Touch Unbreaking 3 pick. I just get this stuff by the, by the boatload. In fact, I mostly just salvage everything now. This is kinda cool, Protection 4. There's some Prot 4, Respiration 3, Aquafinity 2. I didn't know there was Aquafinity 2. Um, anyway, so just all sorts of, uh, of, of cool stuff here. And uh, going on, yeah, you get the idea. Um, to give you a sense for, for the the uh, the type of gear that I myself have fished up, well, it just keeps going on. Look at all this stuff, man. You guys got to be AFK. If you're not AFK fishing, you should be AFK fishing. So um, this will turn into... Uh, look at this. Look at that right there. Diamond chest plate fully uh, undamaged. That's going to be turned into eight diamonds in just a moment. Um, so all, all this kind of good stuff. So the gear that I'm wearing right now, here's an example. This is Prot 4 with Blast Protection 4 and Projectile Protection 4. I added the other stuff. Um, this right here, Prot 4, Fire Protection 4, Projectile Protection 4. You cannot enchant this. I added the Thorns on Breaking 3 and Mending. And then here's another one. Uh, this is just Prot 4, it looks like. Um, but uh, this is a sword. I actually have a be better sword than this. This is Sharpness 5 and Smite 5. I have another one with Sharpness 5, Smite 5, and Bane of Arthropods 5. And that all came from um, from fishing. So anyway, this is just uh, some really cool stuff. So now let's let's get down to it and, and how this actually works. So first off, I'm in 1.10 right now. And you cannot fish, at least I've not been able to fish successfully in 1.10. Instead, what I do is I switch over to 1.8.2 whenever I'm about to fish. And I use a particular fishing rod. So this is my fishing rod right here. This is Math Bros Fish On rod. Get it? Fish On. Anyway, uh, Unbreaking 3, Lure 3, and Mending. One big thing is missing, you'll notice, is this does not have Luck of the Sea. Now, why does this not have Luck of the Sea? I'll actually show you this. Let's see if I can give you a good example. This is why it doesn't have uh, Luck of the Sea, because when I have Luck of the Sea, I just get just endless amounts of these freaking music discs. I've just got them by the bolo. I don't know how many dubs of music discs. By the way, I got lots of other stuff too. But but there's just uh, looks like most of these are now actually. Here's some, here's more music discs. Anyway, you get the idea. So what I found is that if I used a lure three rod, that decreases the time between when you get uh, a bite. So lure three is just awesome. Now luck of the sea seems like it's beneficial when you have a low fishing skill. But for me, I have a high fishing skill, and it seems like it pushes the 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 fishing um, catch off of like the 
even from the iron and diamond stuff, which is mostly what I get now, and into the legendary items, which are these darn discs. And I just have so many of them. I just, I just, I have probably what, I mean, you just saw four dubs, something like that, of music discs. There's more elsewhere. I just got them shoved in all sorts of nooks and crannies. So um, that's why I don't use uh, a luck of the sea uh, fishing rod. I would suggest you do the same. So I'm going to uh, pop out of uh, 1.10 and then pop into 1.8, and I'm going to show you how I set myself up, just the exact details of how I set myself up for fishing. And I'm also going to describe a few other tricks uh, as well that I've got going on here. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back now. I'm actually in 1.8.4, it looks like. That's the, uh, the version that I use to, uh, to fish. I've got my fishing rod here. And I was going to mention some things that are a little bit um, special. So I mentioned the fact that I've got this fishing rod without Luck of the Sea. Now, because I'm in 1.8 now, uh, dot four, there's an enchantment that you can't see on this fishing rod that you saw before. Anybody remember it? It was mending. So by having mending on my fishing rod, I can use a single fishing rod that's enchanted, and it never breaks. Because when you catch something, you get XP. And some of those XP orbs go towards mending any damage that the fishing rod takes. So this is almost always at maximum durability. Sometimes it'll have one or two uh, durability consumed, but it's never broken for me. I just use it continuously to the point where I don't even actually have fishing poles. Normally you'd have fishing rods in, in these uh, areas here and your thing would toss out fishing rods. I don't do that anymore. I don't need to. So I just use this one fishing rod. And again, it's uh, it's super good. Now the other thing is that this particular block here, which I'm circling around here, the, the water block, there's something special about this. And if I look up, you may notice this. I'm underground, but what I've done here is I actually have an open area. This is carpet that we're looking at up here that allows rain to fall through onto this block. And the reason for that is according to the Minecraft wiki, when there's rain touching the block that the bobber is on, the fishing bobber, then you get uh, a, a faster chance, I think it is, of pulling in stuff. So it just makes the fishing process go a little bit faster. And if you're doing this overnight and you're casting over and over and over again, all this, I think, adds up. So again, the uh, kind of my little insights are to use uh, a mending fishing rod without luck of the sea and to make sure that you have your uh, open area here. Now, if it happens to rain during this video, which it probably won't, then you'd actually see rain falling down and hitting this uh, little block of water. Incidentally, I've got this all hidden inside a tree in my upper aesthetic layer. No one even knows that this exists. That uh, green part up there is uh, the same shade, at least in this texture pack and in most te texture packs, as the leaves in a particular tree, and that uh, hole is going right down the middle of a uh, rather large tree that I've built. So anyway, so now let's go ahead and get ourselves set up and we'll get this thing going. Um, now, if by the way, if I do this right now, I'm going to overflow my chests because uh, I don't think I have any in this one, but in this one right below, yeah. So this is where I, I fished all the way up to probably 10 dubs or something like that. Should we count real quick? Just find out how many dubs I actually got from uh, my fishing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 and change, it looks like. Um, so plus all the hoppers in between. Now, notice that I'm in 1.8. I actually can't come up uh, here, so I have to be a little bit... Uh, tricky in order to get through a trap door, but uh, that's because again 1.8.4 and time to set myself up for fishing Now the way that I fish is I first get down in this little hole like you can get up above here But I like to sit down this little groove it makes me feel like nice and safe and secure I'm gonna turn this on and um, Even though I and I can look down here. I can see my redstone is flashing You see that little bit of flashing right there. That means it's operating and even though it's not firing out fishing rods at me, and therefore I don't need to fill my inventory with something to prevent the fishing rods from all being sucked into my inventory, which is what we would normally do, um, I still have found that this is necessary in order to make the, the latter part of this uh, machine work. So the last step here is to just have my, uh, my uh, casting button constantly down. That's normally my right-click button. So if I right-click now, um, I'm just holding down the right-click the right mouse button, you can see this is essentially what I want it to do. And uh, as I'm holding this down, it will take a few seconds, but eventually something's going to swim through there, and then I will pull it in. There it is. I just got an ender pearl. So that simple. Happens every, like, what is that, 5, 10 seconds, something like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my options, my controls, to my use item button, and I'm going to set it to my right arrow. And the reason I do that is because on my particular laptop, it's uh, my, my uh, arrow keys are set 
off a, a little bit from my other keys. And what I've just done here is I actually have a, uh, well, to be honest, it's actually a half of a peanut. It just happens to fit nicely that I place on top of that right arrow key. And I have an external hard drive that I'm recording to right now. And I just set that external hard drive on top of that peanut, which pu presses down on that right arrow key. And I'm going to leave it like this. And so this is what I'm normally doing when I'm AFK fishing. I literally have a something that's just a little bit heavy. And oh, look at that. I feel a touch of magic with this catch. You see that? And it looked like it was a diamond chest plate. And to give you a sense for what this has gotten me, this is what I have so far. I've got, what is that, eight stacks of diamond blocks. Um, once I actually repair and salvage everything, I'll probably get half a stack of diamond blocks. I get between half a stack and a full stack of diamond blocks each time that I AFK fish. Anyway, we've covered all this stuff. I'm going to set myself up to AFK fish, guys. And uh, let's see if I can actually get out of here. I don't have my right mouse button set properly. Uh, uh, but I managed to do it anyway. Um, so I'm going to set myself up to AFK fish, guys. Thanks so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, leave it a like. Um, and uh, if you enjoy these types of videos, subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye now.